All right, before we start, mm -hmm. I gave you a, f or we already did one session, right? So yes. we spoke about a few things that are, that you could improve on. What were those things? Um, I mean, I wrote them down. One is like the camera controlling, like yep. with, with using the, the thingies, mm -hmm. the, the hotkeys. Yep. Then we talked about planning the resets better, like about my items, about enemy item spikes, which yep. I tried to implement. It's not good yet. Uh, then we talked about like general camera movement on gathering information. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about how I want to space and that I want to space depending on what the enemy wants to space. Mm -hmm. Like no, when the cooldown is down, like more pressuring. I, I worked on this. It's it's getting better. Okay. And obviously limit knowledge. And yeah. And I have to have more intention on the map when I just push yeah. out and just go fuck. There's not enough intention other than, well, I pushed out. What do I do? Yeah. All yeah, right. I mostly work on, on like the the pressuring enemies in lane a bit more and the planning out the resets. Yeah, and then uh, zone spacing you said as well. Um, yes. All right. Sure. And you said the well the spacing or like not spacing um what's it called the the resets. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Um, the resets planning etc. in lane has some been going that well you said or? Uh, I mean, I in this game it works out, but it's mostly luck and it's. Like it's better, but, okay. it, but it, in this game it works really well more because of luck, not because it's it's like well planned. Okay, why do you and, think that is? Uh, because I don't think about it, I guess, too much. I mean, I, I mostly think about okay, how do I play the 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 aggressive part of the game, and then I don't have enough like brain power. I don't intentionally take the time between the waves to do this. I'm mostly looking okay, where's wards and so. Sure. But I f forget about this most at All the right. moment. Because the thing is, we can already establish things we want to play for when we're in loading screen, when we're in champion yeah. select, etc. Right? Yes. So when we come into game here and we're like, okay, we're playing as an Aurora and this guy has combat for whatever the fucking reason, you know, but like either way, um, we have to ask ourselves what are good resets for us and what are, like is a good reset for him. So first of all, we also have to ask ourselves, okay, what build are we going with? Now, obviously, we're playing six, so we're going to go a lost chapter item, agreed? Yes, we're going to go lost chapter and then... I mean, there are different options here, but most likely Ludens this game, and then depending on how game set goes, we either go Rabadon's Horizon, or, or maybe even other stuff. Okay, so the plan in general is to go Ludens into either Rabadon's or Horizon, and then we go Pen Boots, or what? As well. Uh, depends on how the game is going, if I'm like uh, really strong, I or we need to kill someone, or they're really far ahead, then I like uh, the Pen Boots. If it's game is like more even, I prefer the other boots. Okay. No, and then we have to ask, what does this guy want to build? And, I mean, it's Aurora, so it's a new champion. We might not be able to predict correctly what this guy wants to build, because people are experimenting, right? But what do you mm -hmm. think he wants to build? I mean, I think this specific guy probably wants uh, the, the Malignants mm -hmm. into maybe something else. Like, I don't know what, what he, maybe Shadow Flame after, but I have no clue. I know that probably uh, Leandris is better, but well, I have no clue. Usually, I mean, into mid lane or into squishes in general, I think Malignance is very good on this champion. Malignance, if I'm him, I would want to go Cosmic Drive. Um, I just think it's yeah. very good. And then, like, Rabadon's probably this game, right? But either way, like, mm -hmm. the main important thing to plan our resets is that we predict his first item, right? He also wants boots yes. at some point, right? So he wants Malignance, right? So, and then we have to ask ourselves, okay, what are our strong points versus his strong points, right? We're building Ludens, he's building Malignance, okay? So... When do you think your strongest point in the lane is? Or like, what is your I mean, best reset? Uh, uh, Lost Chapter for sure, because uh, okay. she has less mana issues than I do. Right, so she doesn't really have mana issues. On top of that, she can't really poke with her spells compared to us, right? So Lost Chapter is may way more beneficial for us than it is for her, right? So 1200 is one base, agreed? Yes, but I don't think I can get there guaranteed. So we cannot get there guaranteed, why is that? Because uh, most likely there's gonna be reset either on like 600 or 800 somewhere around there. Right, so... Just because a lot of trading happens and right, so, it's, we have Nuno in the game. Right, so there's gonna be trading. At some point this guy, I mean he has some sort of push, right? So if he really wants to, he can nuke two waves in a row and just reset, right? And then you're kind of forced to reset unless you just want to fall behind the lane, right? So we need a reset before this, right? We cannot just, okay, let's go for the 1200 reset straight away because it will not work out, agreed? Yeah. So and then I kind of foster the 400 reset or 550. Right. Because I don't want to do more. Okay. Why don't you want to do more? Because then uh, I am like kind of going gonna buy boots. I'm gonna buy another um, uh, emptom, but this all, all delays my lost chapter. 
Right. This guy wants to build, for example, boots, and he was amp tome, etc. Right. And maybe he wants dark seal. Maybe he wants refill. These kind of things. Right. Preferably, we want a 400 reset or an 800 gold reset. Right. It's one yes. of these two. If we think we can get to 800, we can do it. But, but I, I prefer the 400 a lot more than the 800. I mean. Yeah. No. Yeah. So I, mean, the... I think 550 is better than the 800 actually. Yeah, I mean, the 550 is better as well, but it's like, in general, just planning our resets, probably we don't have to use our potions, right? If we plan on resetting on 400 gold, this is the f after the first three, three waves, agreed? Mm -hmm. We should not okay. need to use these potions, because this guy is getting outranged by us, agreed? Yeah. So, if we're outranging him, and we can keep our potions, we do not need to reset the 550, agreed? Because then we're not buying anything. Yeah, if I play it like this, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so this is general the idea then, right? We want to get a in-between reset, right, for our lost chapter, and then we want to get lost chapter on the next reset, right? Are we gonna use TP on the first reset or on the second one? I mean ideally on the second, but it's not always guaranteed that we can probably we can because I can keep my HP and my mana high enough because I can just decide to nuke two waves kinda Okay, mm -hmm. okay so in general if we want a four on the gold reset, that's after the first three waves, right? Can we get the push on wave one? Yeah, I mean we should, but it depends on how she plays it. Okay, we should be I, able to. How, how could she play it differently to the point where we don't get it? If she decides to take like one Q to the face and then she can Q the full wave and then she has more AoE damage on it. Potentially, right? But then at that point, right, we can start playing for her HP bar, maybe instead of the push, yes. for example. On top of that, we have a noon, right? This guy should be getting ganked, right? Agreed? Yeah, he should start ganking around level 3. Right, so if this guy plays for the push, he's going to lose HP and he's going to be under threat of this guy. He cannot lane, agreed? Yeah. So this is our plan if this guy starts playing for the push. Otherwise, we get push level 1. Right? Yeah. So, if we get push level 1, can we get push level 2? I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Because we get level 2 first, so we can keep control of the wave. And if we can get the push level 2, we can for sure crash the third wave and reset, agreed? Yeah. Right. No, that's, that's true. This is what we play for. We reset on 400 gold or a bit more, whatever, depends on our CSing, right? We reset. Mm -hmm. Then we walk back to lane, and then we play lane out until we have lost chapter. Agreed? Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, that's not what I did, but yeah. No, that makes a lot more sense than what I did. <laughs> Alright, let's look at what <laughs> you did, right? But this is the thought process we have to have before the game starts, mm -hmm. right? We have to think about what are our spikes in lane compared to his spikes in lane, right? Because if we just come in here, and then we're like... You know, as we're resetting, we're like, oh, let's buy Ludens this game. And like, oh shit, we're facing a set, I don't know. You know, like, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, it's a bit more no, local. No. I agree. I mean, I mean, in this game, I try to like punish her a lot and then just build a natural advantage by pushing and poking. But Because right. uh... another thing we have to think about, right, is what is our win condition in this lane, right? Because, well, one thing is that you heavily outrange her, agreed? Yeah. So we should be able to win in isolation just like that, like in terms of neutral game, agreed? Yeah. So we get more push, we get more HP, we should, like, when we get lost chapter, be enough for mana to play the lane, etc. Et yeah, yeah, that's just uh, it's like free lane from lost chapter on. Right. So, in general, what is her, her win condition? I mean, uh, 6 and killing me on 6. Right, she has all-in potential, right? Outside of all-in potential, she does not have much to offer, she can skirmish as well, right? These are the two yeah, things. If I have my W stone, she can, like, run me down. Right. So, we have to be careful about her all-ins, and we have to be careful about skirmishing, right? And we preferably want to get a big enough lead to the point where it just doesn't matter. Right? Yeah. And this Q wasn't that great. No, it was fine. I mean, it hits, but it shouldn't. I mean, he's going for the attack while you're doing it, it's alright. Alright, so the main thing with Aurora, right, is that she wants to... I mean, most Auroras will probably not go Comet. I think it's quite troll, Emu, because she does not have a reliable slow to proc it with. Um, but either way, if she has Electrocute here or Fleet, this is always a bad trade, right? Agreed. Now, it's like a fine trade, but it's not that great, because what she wants to do is auto QQ, uh, or Q auto Q, rather. Yeah, yeah. Right, and then she procs her passive, and she gets a bit sustain from her, like, uh, what's called her sentinels, etc. Right. 
Um, it can be fine, but in general, if we can, step up, you know. Uh, maybe bait out a Q, something like that, you know. But when yep. we Q and step back, then it allows her now to take a better trade than us, right? Because if, if for we... me it was, I was just using my passive here. But yes. uh, maybe that's wrong. No, and that's fine, right? I, I don't mind us, like, like how we... I don't mind us, like, going for this, right? But I just don't, I hate how we, like, step back here. Because I would rather mm. us Q auto-attack, and then if she trades on us, we get one more auto-attack. I see, I see. Right, but now we step forward to her now, and she like does the same trade, except uh, we lose one out of text. Makes sense? Mm, yeah, 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 that makes sense, yes. And so, as I said, this Q is like fine, right? Especially if she's playing for the push. Um... So... I mean, in general here, I think like what we're doing is fine, but she already pops potion. I think we should pop potion now as well, like as soon as she steps up to fist fight us. We pop the Q to last at the minions, it's all right. Um, but I would probably honestly just like short trade with her, right? Um, but because... I don't have cooldowns, no. No, but uh, you would just trade with your passive here. Like the only thing she has is Q, right? And it's not like her Q deals massive amounts of damage in that sense. Um, it just feels awkward that she's allowed to zone us off, and if we feel like we for some reason cannot like step up at all after we throw this Q, we should do not throw this Q. Simple as. Like then. I mean, I think. Yeah, go. I think the best idea would be to throw this Q, run away, wait for the passive to be up, and then walk up for for the other minion, melee minion. Yes, and it's like because now it's like we Q these minions, and then she steps up, but we have a huge HP lead, right? Mm. Right. So I would just fist fight her, personally. Okay. Because she's also going to be tanking our minions. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And obviously the Q shouldn't hit the, the other immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I shot. And now she yeah. like steps up and she gets two auto attacks, right? And we do not trade back on her. And now it's like the minions. And it's still not like that terrible, right? And I agree, like, it's a bit scary because she can prop passive. She like deals like damage with Q, etc. But it's not great, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like we said now, she's playing with the push, right? But she should be vulnerable to a gank. Um, yes. So the main thing here is that we do not want her to crash on this wave. Because right now, her wave is big enough to the point where she could potentially crash, agreed? Yeah, so, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm a bit scared of her, her too, but I'm not sure like, well, her limit. Well, her level 2... The, okay, so here's how this champion works, right? If she goes W here and jumps on you, you will probably just mm -hmm. win. Because you will just okay. skew her to the face and she loses. If she goes E, she will not reach you. Okay. Right. Every time she has to, like this, or Aurora in range matchups is so reliant on not being the first one to walk in. Right? Okay. Because as soon as you walk into, into her out tech range, she will land her abilities. And if she tries to walk into you, you will just throw a Q at her and walk backwards. And she cannot hit mm, her ability. Yeah, 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 it makes sense. And if she plays with W, well, there's some outplay potential for her, but it's still very awkward if she, like, misses a spell or something. Because this champion does not have like much neutral game in that sense, right? Mm. It's like you can see it here, like how she just steps up and cues us, and well, she kind of wins the skill gap in that sense. But you know, if she gets hit yeah. by this Q, it's a complete disaster for her. Yeah, it's FF angle because then I can flash on her. Yeah. Now it's like the only thing we have to be a bit careful of is that if we get low enough, she could flash on us, right? Mm. But right now we're nowhere close to that, and if we feel like we're starting to get close to that, we pop our next potion. But the main thing here, at least, is that I would start finning these minions, right? The wave, yeah, make yeah. sure that she cannot crash. Because now Try it's to... like, if she gets to crash here and gets to, like, reset, then she's out of lane. Or, like, even, mm. maybe not even reset, just, you know, whatever. Yeah, no, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah you know, this is uh, really shit by me. Yeah, because now she resets, and it's not like our lane is unplayable, but... Oh, well, she didn't even reset, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. I don't know either. I mean, this Q we know is bad. Yeah, it's a bit too early. I mean, I mean yeah, it's a bit it's too early, but it's like also... Like, if we want to do something here, like, aggressive in that sense, like, we have po I potion advantage, e. right? I should just put the E between the minion and the... That's no, like I the mean, that, that's one thing we can do, right? But it's like... um, We have potion advantage on her, right? If we're scared of Kha'Zix, that's one thing, but otherwise we just fucking step up for all I care. Mm. 
Yeah, no, right now I'm scared of Kha'Zix because Nuno just cleared his three campers ganking. It's like most likely that Kha'Zix is gonna do something around or can do something around this time. Right. So it is potential that he can do something. One thing with Kha'Zix is that this champion has one of the worst first clears in the game. Like, oh, is his, it first, like his first clear is fucking ass. Not okay. in terms of the fact that he will die or anything like that. It's just very slow. Um, yeah, I just haven't seen that champion in like ages, so, so I have no clue. Yeah, no, so it's like he can level 3 gank us if he wants to, but if he does that and fails, he's kind of fucked, in, okay. in a sense. Um, so most people don't do it. If they do it, it's a cheese, right, in that sense. Mm -hmm. So if we have any way of tracking him from level 1 or whatever, it would be good. If we do not, I mean, for all I care, we can just like ward over the wall here or like go here and ward in mm. river and then just play yeah, no, aggressive ward. anyways right yeah i should ward top river and then i can play in her face right as because much. right here when the wave crashes here for all i care she has reset agreed yeah no she should reset that's why I slow push yeah. here right so last hit this minion go for a ward yeah because yeah, if yeah, we no, slow push here and she comes back full hp and we get ganked it's a fucking ff angle i agree so we need yeah. a ward anyways even if she's not staying and maybe that's what we're initially walking up for here. I don't know, but... I think but it might have been, but I, I don't remember exactly. Either way, when we see her, right? Like, for all like, hey, we can step up, maybe go for a ward after, go back the same route, you know, stuff like this, on or off the way. Mm. Right. Because my point is just that, like, we have... Like, this is her HP bar. Our HP bar is, like, here right now. Like, yeah, if we I mean, actually just walk plus... up and fist fighter, we'll just win. Yeah, plus I have TP. Right. I mean, does she not? I mean, she should have as well, but it's still... Okay. Even if it goes bad, I can just yeah, yeah. like... Nah, I should have W turn here. Yeah, I mean, this is just... Like, it's like, there's just no reason to click back here, right? We can just keep yeah, walking no, forward, E, W, right? And then she has a flash. I think it's W, Q, but yeah. I mean, the main idea, I mean, it can be whatever, I don't really care, right, yeah, in that yeah, sense. Yeah. Like, the main point is that we step up, and if we feel like, okay, we're in W range anyways, you know this range better than I do, then, okay, you're in range. If not, you E first to get the slow, and then you W. Yeah, no, this was just bad for me. Like, I legit just walk forward there, it's like, really shit. No, no, this is for sure bad for me. Like, uh, yeah, I didn't realize what was happening, and I, even without Nuno, I should walk forward there. Yeah. Alright, now we reset, she TPs. I probably wouldn't TP here. I was scared that she freezes it the way she pulled the wave, but... Uh... I mean, if we get unlucky with cannon RNG, then we get unlucky, you know? But otherwise it's like, you know? Yeah, I keep it for, for the... the... Yeah. The other... yeah, that's like one thing, you keep it. If you, like another thing right here is, that, okay, we press tab right here, we saw that she has boots refill, right? Um, well, I hope at least we checked it in while we're in game, but either way, that's what we see the chest, right? Agreed? Yes. So, now we we reset, right? Do you think you can get the push, like, up until your next point of reset, which would be lost, lost chapter, agreed? Uh, I can get it, like, three times. When I want it. Otherwise, she will have it. Okay. Uh, otherwise, uh, I will run out of mana. Okay. So... For me, it's like, there's a few things, right? One is, does Boots help us in this lane? I think yes. Okay, and how so? That I prevent her from being able to run me down when I'm too far up and I have push, and that I can dodge okay. her a lot easier. The only time where I ever would be scared of this is if she's level 6, but she will not want to see us, I promise you. Okay. That's like one thing. I mean, you probably haven't played against Aurora that much, like no. in that sense. So that's like one thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's like fine in that sense, right? But this champion... Doesn't have that much burst damage in a sense. She has quick bursts in a sense, mm -hmm. but she l runs out of damage fast because her Q is like seven second or eight second cooldown. I can't remember if they already nerfed that or not. But either way, and their E is like twelve second cooldown, right? Mm -hmm. And they deal like if she hits both of those, she deals like a quarter of your HP, right? Yes, yes, sir. Right, and ult will deal another half of your HP, right? So can she run you down in a sense? Yes, but not your entire HP bar. As long as I have flash, I'm fine. Right. That's what you're saying. Um, my point is just that the boots will not help with this anyways, because she will ult you and you will be locked in the cage. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I just thought she could do more before, but uh, then... then no, because anytime she runs at you, 
if she uses W, that's like one thing, right? Then that's how she gap closes on you. And then she has to hit Q and she has to hit E. And if she misses one of those things, she loses, right? Because you will use E and then Q her. Mm. Right? And then you will win the trade. Because your champion deals ish the same amount of damage, but at some point he will fuck up, right? Because your champion, like, it's so much easier for him to fuck up because one, his Q is a thin hitbox, right? So he can yeah. easily miss it. Um, and that's the, stuff. Yeah, the other is that he has to use, like, ish half his mana bar to take one trade, right? Mm. Because he has a W, like, QE, right? And it's like, if he ever misses anything, or if he just steps up and eats a Q or whatever, because he's trying to get into range, he will lose. So, what should I be buying then? Oh, because I'd... yeah, go. Do you think, uh, I mean, probably Sapphire Crystal then? Yeah, Sapphire Crystal, right? That's my... If you think boots help more, it's fine, right? Because we will still get to Lost Chapter mm -hmm. first, because he bought boots, right? Um, So we're still fine, right? So... If we go Sapphire Crystal, the only thing is that we will be there much sooner, and we will probably have the base we want to, because we can keep control in the lane without running out of mana. Yeah, no, I think Sapphire happen. Crystal TP now, and then force a push out with a good reset after the best, yeah. Yes. That makes a lot of sense. That's really shit to queue by me. Yes. I mean, her range is something we have to get used to, of course, that's fine. Yeah, like, I don't mind getting it by that. If, uh, so, that the main thing now is like, once again, we just ask ourselves the question, what reset do we want compared to our reset rate? And it's still Lost Chapter, agreed? Yeah, I mean, obviously. Right, because we agree we're not fucking killing her randomly, and most likely she will not kill us randomly. <laughs> if I kill her randomly, then she has to be bad. Yes, exactly. With, maybe right. with gank from Mumu, uh, Nunu, I can like. Yeah, yeah, that, that's like one thing, right? Like if Nunu ganks you, like then it's possible, right? But if she's good, she's saving W E for Nunu gank, and she will not get hit by the snowball, right? Mm. So main thing is that no one will die in this lane, right? So we just have to decide the reset, right? But the one thing is that pre six now with Scuttle being down, etc. Like she's not gonna go start roaming on the map, agreed? Nah. Right, and nah. well, I hope you're not gonna go roaming on the map because that's one thing we discussed. Uh... Also. Should uh, at least I should not. Yeah, the only time where the prior could be important is if one uh, jungler decides to invade, invade the other jungler, right? But if Nunu decides to invade, like Nunu is probably not gonna invade, right? That's one thing because he's just gonna go gank somewhere instead, right? Agreed. Yeah, he's gonna sit on Scotland, press W. Right, and Kazix will probably not invade a Nunu because if he fucking sees the Nunu, Nunu will just all smite him and his time is wasted. Yeah. Right. So you, no invades will happen this game. No rooms will happen. We don't need the prior. Agreed. Yeah, no. Prior okay. is a dead thing up until we have our item. I mean, it can be fine by the way our botlane is playing right now. I mean, potentially, if this guy does, does decide to roam, but if it does, like, uh, like one thing is that I, his champion rotates super slow and he doesn't have much offer right now. Yeah, true. It's like, your champion, like, it's the same thing. If, like, it's the opposite, if you're playing on the Aurora side here at 6 and he's playing, you know, uh, like, you're not going to go roam botlane just because botlane is playing like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's like no, the same I thing. Agree. No, so my point is, generally we don't need a push right now. If we can get the push, it's like all right. But otherwise, like honestly, like we just play for her HP bar and like for her yeah, resources, yeah. right? While trying to save our resources. If Nunu can gank us, we do so. Otherwise, we just prepare for the next reset, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what I should be doing here. Well, one thing here, I, I don't like mind this ward or anything. I mean, if we can nuke the raptor camp, that's fine, right? Like, that, that's obviously what we're trying to do, right? Just try, try to steal the raptor, that's fine. This W, like, does absolutely nothing. I mean, it's uh, if KT wants to jump in, like, insta cancel him. I mean, yeah, sure, but one thing is that he cannot really jump on us here. Like, he does not reach. 
It's like one thing. And the other thing is if he does jump on us, Pike is over here and he dies. True. Yeah, yeah I noticed. I right. Agree. My point is just that like there like this the, the poke on him does nothing. The mana is a waste, right? Because he will just go and heal. And then the mana is what we need yeah, to make sure we get out to, of lane. To, fake, yeah, to get my last chapter. I mean, yeah. Them. Right. Yeah. This is our win condition, right? Whenever we press a W, we lose 80 mana for fun. That's one time for four mana bar. Yes. So what is the plan now? Now that the wave is like neutralized, right? Lost chapter is 850, right? Yeah. yeah or is it 850 or is it 800? It should be 800 for that. 800. Okay, right. So what is the plan then? I mean, I should just nuke this wave on base. Okay. Yeah, if we get it off the this base, I, I never know exactly how much gold it is. Uh, I should it should know this, be, but... worst case, I have to sell my, my, riff, uh, my pot. I see. No, because then we just nuke the wave yeah. and we get out, right? Like... Because now as well, like now it's getting a bit scary, right? Because now she's hitting level 6. If we get ganked by the Kha'Zix, that's like not good. And then it's like, I mean, we're running out of mana, right? So we end up ulting the wave, but we probably don't need to ult the wave. And it's like, another thing yeah. is that like right here we check. Oh, wait, we have enough gold, you know. We're not playing with it in back of our head. Mm, like, yeah, and you said yeah. it as well, right? You didn't plan for it, and that's fine, right? But yeah, this is something to be aware of. Yeah, no, did he just ult the wave on Aurora? Yes, he did. Fuck me, bro. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad because it's gonna be ready when he's back in lane, no? Mm, like no, uh, no, 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 no. His ult is like a 140 second cooldown base, bro. A 140? Yes. Okay, well, uh, never mind. Like, he probably runs Ultimate Hunter and he hopefully runs Transcendence, so it's like a little bit shorter or shorter than that, but that's the base cooldown of Aurora ult. Oh, no. Holy shit. Like, Aurora is super long cooldown. Alright, so what is the plan now? Uh, it's hover bot side and like zone of the wave, build a wave so that I can play into bot side. Okay. And item wise, well, let's just get Ludens. I think Ludens really good. Yeah. The way this game played out so far. This was shitty. Yes. Because it was too early. Yeah, I mean, that's like one thing, right? Um, there's like a few things, right? It's like... Um, one thing is we just don't click on her when she comes back here, right? So I don't know what base she has right now. It's yeah, like one yeah, thing yeah. I don't like. This is something we spoke about last time as well, right? Um, yes, yes. It's like, in general, we just wait for her to come into range, right? It's like once again, we space her and not ourselves. You know what I mean? Um... Of course, you don't know exactly what the Aurora range is. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, no, I know what you mean now. Yeah, you space her range, not your range. This yeah. is the, you, She's in your range right now, right? But she's at the maximum uh, of your range. He's double bounce. He's double yeah, bounce. exactly, she's like literally at the maximum, like you're never gonna fucking hit an ability. You know what I mean? Like you throw EQ here, he can step backwards and he's called Shovi or all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> so like, yeah, my point is that we don't play on your max range, we play on his max range, right? Just outside of it. That's how we win. Agreed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. that's something I need to start. Yeah. So, it's, so it's like, what is his max range? Is the next question, right? Like, it's not here. And I mean, it's like, is she here, it's... right? No, it's isn't it further? Like, double this? What do you mean? A Q? What did you say? Oh, you mean, oh, you mean from my character at the range? Yeah, 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 yeah. from your character. Like, if, yeah, she, yeah. if you're asking about her range, she has a sunny, like, also here. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I mean, Two her things. range goes up till, to, like, the wall. Right, so, if, so it's like, if she runs, uh, like, if she wants to see us, she has to stand in, like, this kind of, like, you know, arc mm, or something, right? And then yeah, we can yeah. space around that, right? That's the general point. So we just want to stand outside of this, right? Like, yeah, okay, yeah, we can yeah. stand here, we can stand here, or whatever, and then when she goes to see us, we step up, right? But when we throw an ability like this, then all of a sudden, like, you know, doesn't matter. And, like, this Q as well, it's a bit awkward, right? And this W is just like, fuck you, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this Q is fine. Like, because here she steps into the range, right? That she needs to see us at. And now we're mm -hmm. spacing her like we should be. Yeah, the, from, from bad setup into actually doing something good. Right. But uh, yeah, the, the top, it happened to be good. It wasn't good. Yeah. And then one question here that 
I want us to ask ourselves is what lane state or like what wave state do we want to have, right? I want to have a stacking wave so that I can help Nuno whenever he needs help, so that I can nuke the wave and move. Okay. At because least that's what I. Because for me, the main thing is that we don't want him to be in the stacking wave. Agreed. We don't want him to be slow pushing into us. No, for sure. I mean, probably not. But that's I mean, like we a, don't really you know, care. We can fix most lane states, right? But that's yeah. not like if we have three different lane states. One is where we're slow pushing into him. Two is where he's slow pushing into us, and three is where it's neutral, like this, right? Mm -hmm. Which one do we prefer? Is something we have one. to ask, right? Yeah, we prefer sure. one and then three and then two, right? Because if we're at three, we can just fix it to be one instantly. Yeah, exactly. If it's two, we have to use more resources to make it go into one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So my point is just that, like, one thing to think about here is that when he comes back here and we have the slow push, how much do we want the slow push, right? Because as soon as this crashes, if it crashes as too big of a wave, he's going to start building a slow push. I mean, I don't think that's a thing versus 6, but yeah, no, I agree. Well, I do think it's a thing, right? Because it's like, I mean, at least if he has ult, for example, or etc., right? Because if he's playing with a slow push and you step up or whatever, and it's like he ults you and Kha'Zix comes, you have to burn flash. Mm-hmm. Because his ult is like quite a big range in that sense, right? So my point is just that like when we're slow pushing quite hard, like I agree with you, should we be slow pushing so that like we can just help out Nunu whenever? Yes, it's good, right? And it's like you check what the Nunu actually is doing, right? If it's like doing Drake right here and we want to have the push right now, then that's fine. Get the push right now and then neutralize wave state right, right again and then do the same thing again. Yeah. Because another thing, like, we don't theoretically always want to be standing over here on this side of the lane, right? Because this is where we actually can be all in if something does happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just standing there because it's Nunu's side and I have backup. Oh, yeah, it's it's system. Nunu's side. This guy does not have ult yet. And it's like, you know, there's a lot of things going on, right? Like, worst case, we have flash, right? So it's like, we're yeah. fine, right? I'm just meaning in general, right? Like, yeah, yeah. the further up we have to stand, the scarier. No, I agree with that. The less risk this guy has to take as well, for that matter, right? If he's standing on this side of the lane into a Nunu, he's just fucked, you know? Mm hmm. No, I agree. That Q I wanted to predict to see, I threw it too far. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. I mean, in general, it's like same thing again. It's like, it's, you know, preferably we play outside of his space range, right? In, in a sense, like yeah, here. Eddie... Like when, when we both, like when he steps forward, like we just click here. And it's like, in general, we don't have to space forwards, right? We have to think about where is he going to have to go to last set, right? Because right now he has to last set this minion, right? Yes. So he has to stand somewhere in like this kind of range, right? Yeah, and I put my E there, it's so much easier. Right. My point is just that like, also that we don't have to walk forward. When we walk forward, like he's not going to like just walk through us to go to the minion. What he's going to do is yeah. fight you. And then all of a sudden we're in the same range. Mm. So what yeah, we can yeah. just do is hug this, for example, if he starts walking up, we start walking up. Or we can start walking like this as well, if we really want to. My point is just that he has to walk forward at some point, and when he does walk forward, we can just cue him as he's walking forward, right? But if we walk forward at the same time, he's all of a sudden in our, in our range. You see what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I see. Well, that was interesting. Yes. Well, one thing here, or uh, I mean, I, I don't like hate how we play it or anything like that since after this like spacing part or whatever, right? It's like, well, we hit the W and it's a bit awkward, we don't know where it is, but like, just pop our potion, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's something I realized in game as well. Yeah, yeah, I should just pop the potion for the damage instantly. Yeah. yeah. So, how come we decided to nuke this wave? This wave? Yeah. It's just that I can crush it in time in case he decides to reset. Okay. Maybe, no, I actually you nuke know, it too hard for that. That's, that's, oh. Hmm. Well, well it's, the thing is, it's like whenever we, like, the, I mean, one thing is that we already see this guy, right? So he's not resetting, right? So the excuse is invalid. Agreed. You know what I mean? Like, because right now we see him, like, in, on our screen. Like, if we decide to yeah, hard push yeah, yeah. right now, like, there's no, like, oh, maybe he's resetting. Like, no, like, is he going to reset in your face as you're watching him? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I mean, yeah. Right, yeah, but yeah, my yeah. point is just that, okay, there's a few things to this, right? One thing is that whenever we hard shot this, he can stay, right? Unless he's threatening of, like, on, on, like, being threatened of getting dove or something, right? Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
well, one, it's not super high solo queue, right? So it's probably not going to happen. And then, like, two, we see the bard, the Kha'Zix, etc., right? So... Mm. Um, another thing is, like, also, if we decide to hard shove when it's a cannon wave, the cannon will, po like, tank up most of the wave, and this guy will make it back in time anyways. And so if we didn't hard shove this, he would lose more. You're thinking of potentially resetting on this uh, bounce? What did you say? But you're thinking of resetting on this bounce? Yeah, no, uh, no, resetting is, like, fine, right? But my point is just that, like... Um, if we hard shove here, right, he's losing less minions than if, than if we don't, then we can just shove on the next wave and then yeah. get the reset anyways, unless we're scared of getting all, all in on that timer. Mm, yeah, yeah. If so, we hard shove, then it's fine, right? Then it's a valid reason. But otherwise, I don't, this no, no, is I don't awkward. think that was my reason. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think that was my reason at the time. Yeah. Maybe it was just because I saw Pike uh, on, on top of the others, and that's why. Yeah. And I mean, this ends up like being fine, right? In a sense, um, like another thing we have to ask ourselves on like this timer, Emu, is that whenever we decide to hard shove this wave, like if we don't hard shove this, he's gonna lose more. Agreed? Yeah, 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 for sure. But if we do decide to shove this and he stays like he is, then we have the ability to gain more, right? By, for example, yeah. pushing plates here, right? So we have mm -hmm. to ask ourselves, what is more important, him getting resources or me getting resources? I mean, me getting resources. Why? Because this guy is already piss useless. Well, that's one thing, this guy is a fucking dog, right? But it's like, in general, the main thing we ask... I mean, it's solo queue, right? But the main thing we ask ourselves, does our champion curve better when it comes to the game length and, like, scaling, right? Than the enemy champion. That means Six always scales. Right, Six always scales, basically, maybe unless you're playing against a fucking Kassadin. You know what I mean? Yeah, but even Kassadin can be dealt with if you have somewhat human teammates. Right, it depends on your team, right? But it's like, you know, if you don't have lockdown, etc., you're not going to deal yeah. with them anyways, right? My point is just That's that, good. like, it depends on the game, right? Six, often you're going to outscale every, every single person, right? Almost yes. always, right? Yeah. So playing for your own resources makes sense, right? But there are times where it's not going to make as much sense. Maybe you're not playing Sigs. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what else you play right now for that matter. Like maybe you, if you play Ori or something, right? Maybe it makes more sense to deny enemy resources mm -hmm. than enable yourself. Yeah. I mean, I played a lot of Ori last split. Yeah. And there's like a few things. For example, one person in chat is saying like, okay, if you're playing against a Seraphine or a Soraka, maybe your champion scales less well, you know, for example. Yeah, true. That's, that's probably really shitty. Right. Yeah. So if you're playing you know, against a Seraphine or Soraka and, like, against, I don't know, a Kassadin or Yone or something like that, you'd probably just freeze on this guy, deny him resources compared to enable yourself. Make sense? True. Yeah, 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 for sure. Right. It's just something to think about. Does my champion outscale enemy champion? Would I rather, like, deny him yeah, resources compared to, like, Red? Because it's like, when you give him this wave and you get this plate, it's not like you're going that back in gold or anything like that, right? He's not going to get every single minion, right? So it's like, you're going to go ish even in gold off it. Agreed? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much, do I want to be ahead of the curve, or do I want to be uh, have my enemy behind of the curve? Right. That's, so, I mean, this is fine. I would probably W into Q there, but... Yeah, 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 I for sure should. Uh, that's uh, what I realized yeah. in game as well. And uh, now I would be careful, because now you're dead. I kill him. Oh my god, he's so bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you're dead, but... Well, I guess he doesn't think so. No, because what he does here... I mean, I guess you could flash out and you're fine. But he just steps yeah. back into this instead when you throw an ability and you don't you don't deal damage on him with E and you're fucked. Can he reach it in time by how close he was? Yes. The problem for him is that he's walking forward straight away. Because mm. here, like... He just plays on your space, right? And generally, it's better for him to walk through here yeah, and yeah, pop out on this go, side and then, then go fucked. back through. Yeah. And okay. it's like, then you have to predict it in a sense. Like you can just pop down your E here if you really want to, but, you know, it's like a mind game mm. in that sense. Yeah, yeah, no, this was best. I agree. I should keep my Q there. Does he get hit by E in the middle if he walks through? I don't think so, no. He's, no, untar no, no. he's untargetable when he's in... It doesn't bolt. exist. It's kind of like fizzy. No, it's not a blink, but it's, he's untargetable during the spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he... Yeah, yeah, no, I, no I'm talking to Hybridge. Like, ah, because... sorry. Yeah, no, no. It's like, yeah, no, because, like, yeah, if he walks through, like, he's just untargetable. It's like Rico says, it's like a fizzy. Um, if he has Ignite on him, he would take damage, but he would not take damage from this spell. Because it does not target him at all. Don't name drop me, please, this guy. <laughs> Alright. And now I have to open Twitch at this one. No, I don't. Alright. We get Ludens off this, so now we're quite strong. Agreed? 
Yes. No, so what is our wing position now? Because now uh, push out an effect ma map. Like, like I cannot hit the tower, and uh, because she will also just nuke the wave in that sense. And or I cannot walk up unless I don't know where Kha'Zix is. Best thing you need to do is push, get vision, and then. I mean, I'm not playing for this eight trucks because this guy doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And then I have to plan to bot try to get these towers. Right. So what you want to do is accelerate the game through towers, right, Great or no? Yes. That's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, because like for me, it's like there's a few things we can do, right? Once again, this guy's getting fucking shit out range. He just used his ultimate. This is not like long cooldown. He can't play the game. Agreed? Yeah. So, in general, if we want to, like especially when he does this to the wave, we just fucking freeze on him. Mm -hmm. He actually can't play the game right now. He will not see us for a straight three minutes if you don't want him to see us right now. Yeah, I mean, I guess that can work. I'm just a bit scared of Bart Kha'Zix combination right now. Oh, well, if these pull up to mid lane, they will push the wave and then you will get out. And then you will just do the same thing again, and then you will push and then you will stop me on the map. The thing yeah, is, then, sure, so sure. the idea with this is that, right, is that this guy's game is over. He needs someone to bail him out. Agreed? Mm -hmm. If you just decide, yeah. like, decide that he needs to be named, uh, bailed out, right? So, if they decide to, for example, Camille goes here, or Bard goes here, or Kha'Zix, or whatever, or maybe all fucking three of them, you know, then you're re relieving pressure off your teammates. Yes. You're doing the same thing, right? As if you were pushing and moving. It's just that instead of like going to their lane, you just pull people away, right? I mean, they except have to... that I don't get plates, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, sure, but you probably wouldn't get plates anyways, right? That's what we yeah, said, right? Because we're looking at the boom. And I mean, here, I mean, I don't mind the trade. I think we play it awfully mechanically. Like, <laughs> and that's a bit sad. Because the trade is good otherwise. Right, he's dead of this trade, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, if, if I hit like at least one of those kills, yes. then, then I can ult and he dies on it. Or yeah, at least yeah. No, I mean, no, I mean, he's just dead here after the W. Because all that happens here is that we W Q and we don't miss the Q and we insta ult <laughs> on it as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, right, like, like right now, Q is flying in the air, it's landing on him and we, we're charging our ult. ult as well. And I mean, I don't know yeah. if he has flash, maybe he can flash out, right? No, but he dies. Like, yeah. Q ult, out attack, and powered out attack, he dies. Right, because uh, this, is the, this is like the one setup tool we have on 6, otherwise it's just skill shift. W and 2K, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So you just, when you land a W like this, you fucking you slam your head into the keyboard and you throw all spells <laughs> and you hope it lands, you know? Yeah, and I just miss it for fun. I should right, we, we, we missed a Q, we missed this Q, we didn't ult, like, you know, and now, like, we have to reset TP. Yeah, I mean, I get bailed out by having still having TP, but uh, this is yeah, like yeah. awkward. I um, think the first half was, was fine, but yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we died to this guy, so that's a bit awkward. We're also just not watching our character, because we live here otherwise. Yeah, I pressed WW the moment I died. Well, this is a bit awkward. Yeah, so it's like, once again, I feel like we wa I mean, I, in your head, I guess you just feel like the fight is lost here, like, already. Yes. Like, because probably what I would do, because we have a lot of damage right now, right? We're playing Luden 6, and it's like, if we can land Q ult onto both of these guys, maybe there's a play. So I wouldn't walk so far back. Because right now they're out, like, it's once again, their range, like, does not reach mm, you. Yes. Yeah. Right, so... I mean, on like, if we're gonna stay here anyways, we don't have to walk to our max range. We can just stay at this range, throw our abilities, maybe from an auto-attack. If we, for example, know Camilla's, like, flash ult, then maybe we have to be scared of that, something like that, you know? I mean, just scared, I'm scared of a TP flank right now, that's why I'm trying to get away as fast as possible. Right, but it's like, then, either way, I'd rather have us step up, like, here, and then use Q mm. ult or something like that, you know? I guess so... Because here, it feels so awkward that we, like, throw Q at max range. Obviously, we're throwing it wrong as well, so it, like, misses. But, like, my point is just that, like, we have Q, we have ult up. We don't need to, like, run away as fast as we do. And we don't need to, like, run away as far as we do before we throw Yeah, them. if I just ult Q here right. and auto attack, yeah, I can't the campaign angle. Right. So it's like, 
you know, and maybe they do not die, like, you know, in that sense. Like, I'm not saying they do, but we deal a lot more damage and maybe there's a play. It's just that it's kind of fundamentally wrong in a sense. Mm. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, no. also, like, I mean, it's a bit awkward here because we say, okay, we're scared of TP and we're just walking into the TP as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? We have to walk the safe way around. So probably what did happen is I'm that we just weren't happened. aware of the TP, but... I think I was. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, step or like you, objective number one is just to get out of lane right now. Yeah, that's good. Yes, yes. Yeah, I wanted to swap this because one auto attack this tower is gone. Yep. Uh, yeah, I miss. I go too far. I mean, I don't even need. Because I use my E and don't have W. Yeah, I, I mean, should... this tower is dead, agreed. Yes. So we don't need to kill it like this exact second in that sense, right? It's going to be dead in 10 seconds as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't like start surviving. It doesn't regen to full HP just because we didn't kill it now. So, like, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's like just this... that one of the plates, the two plates. Yeah, and that, and that's fine, right? I get that they're despawning, right? But all we do is that we just step up, and if like uh, if she we notice that she's trying to summon us off the tower, then like just wait your Q cool down, throw the Q in her face, etc. Just play from there, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. And I mean, it's like fine anyways, right? We burn ult for it, I don't mind it, right? In that sense, but it's just like, as a general principle, we don't have to like, insta rush the tower in that sense. The tower is mm -hmm. dead anyways. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think they are sort of dead if she played it correctly. Potentially, I don't yep. know what she had with Citrus, so. But probably you didn't know either, so. Yeah, she had BT. No, what I mean is like, uh, in terms of sums and ult, etc. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that I didn't know. Because if she has flash ult, yeah, you're for fucking sure that, you know? If she doesn't, like, you're maybe fine. I don't know. Exactly. Oh, this is so sad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like... I mean, this is what it is. Like, in general, like, our W doesn't deal much damage, and we... I mean, it's not the first time, in that sense. I feel like we use it a lot as a damage spell when we shouldn't. I mean, here I was just trying to push us through it so he can pack uh, ult after because I didn't think he would be in kill when sure, ready. Sure, sure. But my point is, is that, like... Um, I, I mean, I get the idea. Like, we're trying to push her through the E, right? In that sense. But it's like... In, uh, there's a lot of times in the game, for example, in the last all in where we said we should have Q ulted after, etc. Where it's like we just use the W just for the sake of using the W and we don't follow it up with anything and we just kind of watch them. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. for me, yeah, no, I agree. yeah go. like it's like uh, if we want to use our W, like for whatever reason, right? Like, you know, it's fine. But like for all I care, then as well, like we can just knock her closer to us, and she's probably dead as well. For example. And yeah, I just true. don't, and I just don't think we need to do it as the last ability either, right? In that sense, because we often end our combo with a threat. And it's like, I mean, this moment is a bit sad. I'm not gonna blame you for it, right? In that sense, but it's like, you know, in general. Yeah, my W is uh, not completely in sync with my other cooldowns. Yeah, and I mean, this was fine. I wouldn't run through the Aurora ult. You get slowed when you run through it, and you will never catch her, like personally, right? Oh, I do. Okay, okay. You get slowed for a shitload when you run into the arena, so... I didn't know that. Now I do. Yeah, this is fine. And we're just going what? Rabadons, or...? Yeah, yeah Rabadons. Okay. I don't think any other item makes sense. Alright, what is the plan now? Uh, it's uh, to like stall the game in mid when Kalista decides to play top and then I can play overs to her side and make sure the enemies don't get T1 mid. And then just trying to make sure the game, because I think Aatrox should have been bought here, but it's like whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I need to catch the base, and now I need to somehow get back to mid, which is like a bit awkward, but I can't go mid, because okay. Camille is moving. 
Yeah. So there's like a few things here, right? Like, okay, one is that, like, okay, we we like participate in this fight or whatever, right? Like, not yes. super hard, but like, we, we try to at least, and then the fight's over. So we see Camille, we see Kha'Zix, like, we know our war is bot lane, so we know where everyone is on the map agreed. Mm -hmm. So we push this wave, right? Or one tap the wave, rather. Like, for all I care here, just go and push the next one. Ah, yeah, 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 just nuke, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Just, like because all that's going to happen here otherwise is that, like, as soon as we leave, Aurora is going to go push this, and we're going to have to walk back anyways, like we're doing right now. And if we had pushed mm. this straight away, like, I don't think Aurora will 100 0 us, if so, start banning the champion, please. Um, yeah. But it's like, worst yeah, case, no, no, makes... like, yeah, because we know where Kask is, we know where Camille is, so we don't have to be scared. So, just push the wave, and now we have to be scared, because now they could actually be here. Right. Yeah. And then it's like, once we've taken it, we could, for example, if we feel like we can't walk straight to mid lane, we can just reset, take the gate, and then be mid lane, for example, right? Yeah. And it's yeah, like, it gives it, Aatrox yeah. more time as well to go bot lane, right? If needed. Yeah, if I nuke it, walk, walk post next, and then, then look for ba base into bot mid with gate, yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. That's, that's the best play to do. Because in general... I mean, in general, it's like always best to like hard shove a wave or one type of wave before like moving somewhere, right? It's like if we catch the wave instead of like being the like or like receive the wave instead of being the one like pushing the wave, then yeah, yeah, yeah. they are gonna have tempo ahead of us, right? And Which no. is awkward. So if yeah. we have the option here to receive the wave and then push the next one and have tempo ahead of them, we would always take it. Makes sense? Yeah, 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 for sure. I just was scared at the yeah. time. I didn't track properly. No, I agree fully. What happened here? Yeah, bad W usage. I mean, this was fine. I did the next fight here. Yeah, I mean, it's like once again, we just W for the sake of Wing, right? And it feels a bit awkward. Because it's like same thing as like when we spoke about it in lane phase, right? Like uh, in the 6 3 sauna lane, right? If we use mm -hmm. our W, like that's one or one defensive tool, and it's like our one setup tool, right? This ability does a lot for us. If we just throw it away, yeah. then we lose a lot of power. I mean, my thought process there was because I know where she was so that I can CC her so that Atrus can then kill her. But uh, that was like, it's just bad process because she dies anyways. Like, I right. shouldn't care. And it's also like, I mean, one thing as well is that can you CC with your W? Yeah, I mean, it is a CC spell. Is it a reliable CC spell? Well, in, a, in, in one sense, yes. In one sense, no. Because when you throw your W on Insta Puppet, you know where you're throwing it, you know where he's flying. This guy does yes. not. Yes. Because you're gonna throw W, he doesn't know where you're throwing it, he just knows you're throwing it, and then she flies somewhere, and he has to, like, already, like, react to that, you know what I mean, in that sense. Mm. So, it's, like, so hard for him to react to your W here, right? Because he just knows now, okay, he got hit, and, like, he kind of understands where he flew, but he has to react to it, right, and at that point, it's already too late. So, your CC spell is a CC spell that p people cannot follow up on. Hmm. Right, unless oh, it's really hard. Yeah, yeah. And, right, uh, unless shows... like, for example, if like you can follow up on it quite easily because you know where it's going. Um, and Yasuo can press R. Yasuo can press Alt, for example. If it's some like, like targeted ability, it's a bit easier, right? In in that sense, and it's a bit easier if this guy is flying into your Aatrox, right? Because you know, I mean, it's like just in general. Let's say you're like having a standoff or whatever, and then you like W someone, so they fly into your team. Like it's gonna be way easier for people yeah, to yeah. like follow up on it, right? Because they're just too close in general. Then. But here, for him to react to it, he has to do it while Aurora is mid there. Otherwise, she will flash the Q, which happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Alright, we have two items now. What's the plan? Push mid, play into the top, try to get top tier 2. Alright. We have the vision already. Like, fuck Aatrox and uh, play play into Kalista Pike. I mean, do you know what I will say about this or no? 
I should check more or what? Yeah, of course. Because that's like one big thing we spoke about like entire last session, right? And throughout all of this game, the game has been let's just play around the lane because this is a lane we could actually win, right? Mm. Uh, we can win this lane. We don't have much move power, etc. The need to she. We don't have to care too much about map movements because of that, right? And the invades shouldn't happen. But now, if our plan is push mid, go side lane, play towers, you know, then we need to be looking at what's going on. Yeah. Because the entire plan is nuke this wave and leave. And if we don't know where we're even leaving to, like, you know, it's like we're just jumping on a train and we hope it doesn't, like, you know... I mean, my plan here was to nuke it and walk tops that instantly, and then I see them fighting bot. Yeah. And it's like, that's fine in a sense, right? But it's like, we see it, okay, here it's like fine, we shake, right? But here we like shake it, and then we shake it again, and we're like hesitating. I don't care what we do, just do something. I mean, at the start, when I checked, first check was for me, okay, it's out. Camille disengaged, okay, the fight is over, I can move top. And then, then I saw Camille going back in, and then that's why I double checked. Yeah, yeah, and it's like fine, right? But uh, my point is just that like it's a bit awkward, right? Mm. But it's also like while we're pushing the wave, I would just look top lane. Yeah. Because here, here, there's just no like reason we're just standing around, right? The only thing is like maybe we get hit by a bard ult if we're scared of that, right? But it's like you mm. know we could even do that before we're walking into lane here. Right now we're scared, yeah, and yeah. that makes sense. But like if we we're standing over here, anyways, we might as well pan down. Mid check top, yeah, yeah, check top, check bot. Uh, mostly top. Like bot doesn't matter. I mean, it ends up mattering, but yeah. it shouldn't matter. And I mean, I assume the play, like the goal throughout this entire game now, will just be the same thing: just push a wave and move to your team, and either look for a fight or a tower. Yes. And well, this... Yeah, this is so awkward. I wanted to push mid here, <laughs> but yeah. uh, my team decides to. I don't like. Okay, I'm not having it. Uh, that's just bad by me because I didn't respect the map then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we know where they are as well, right? We see them here, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, okay. I mean, it seems like a bit of a tilt play. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it kind of was. I push one wave. We go mid. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw ult like this. I get why we're doing it. Like she's in MF ult, and it's like, oh well, we can land our ult, and she kind of has to disengage from it. But like she has I mean, GT shield, and nothing is threatening her, and she will just go life steal on the wave after fight. Yeah, 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 no, it's mostly so in case we do decide to follow up on her. Yeah, I get that, uh, but I'd rather have you throw your ult when a CC ability lands then, you know? Yeah, I agree. No, I fully agree. Give us a right counter on stream, fuck's sake. Yeah, no, because if we look here, our ult does a lot more if we have it here, right? Yeah, 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 if I put here and just uh, kill, then it's, it's free. Yeah, and it's like, sure, we de dealt some damage on the MF with our ult earlier, so maybe that, that's not the one we're killing, right? But it's just like, in general, we want to get max value out of our ult, right? We don't have to, like, throw it in a panic. If we know, like, someone's jumping on it right now, that's fine, right? But if our argument is like, oh, maybe we'll follow up on it, like, mm -hmm. it's just... I mean, I, I saw the Nuno W rolling in, so I was like, okay. Right, but then we wait until the Nuno W hits, right? Because if she's getting hit by Nuno W, she won't be moving anyways. I mean, yeah, I feel like I want to throw it just before, but yeah, no, this was... Yeah, I mean, maybe anyways. just before, right, like, but yeah, that's yeah. the general but point. But it was early old anyways, yeah, the general point stands. Yeah, I should WW this ult, but I wasn't ready. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing. I mean, I also... Yeah, I guess it's a bit awkward. Yeah, it's fine. I think this is the saddest ult I've seen in my life, bro. I put it in the bush so that it doesn't show if they don't have vision. Okay. Now because it's like... 
Nah, it's like they're all three stacked up top of each other. I see the Nunu E charging up, and we just throw it like this, and I'm like, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I do agree. It should have been further down. No, it's like, I mean, in general, okay. There's like a few things, right? One is, I mean, we we seem to lose a bit of awareness. I mean, the Aatrox kind of runs into them. It's fine. Like, whatever. Like, everyone is on the same page in your team except for that guy. So, I guess it makes sense. Um, yeah, just ping Nash before, I think. Yeah. If we're scared of the Camille here, it's fine to W. Otherwise, it's the same thing as before, right? And, I mean, if I see three people stacked on top of each other like this, like, I would just fucking throw my ult already. Mm. Like... Because it's like, we can greed for more, we can, for, for example, okay, throw it into the bush, like you say, like, to get the vision, right? But, like, this is hitting all three of them unless they flash out of it, agreed? Yeah, right. yeah, no. So, uh, maybe not in the center, but, like, the, you know, then they have to start running away, etc. They cannot keep fighting, like, you know, you just throw it, like, and then, like, you know, you had the perfect opportunity already. So, how would you throw mm -hmm. it instead when they stack up on each other like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not on rest of fight was just kind of clean up, so. I mean, this double use of it's sad, but it is what it is. I don't think she does yeah, anyway, just, so. I wanted to go to Nash, so I just walked up and then he engaged. Yeah. Alright, reset. Worst item any game bought. Nah, it's really good, yeah. <laughs> And this spell, I think it's really, really good. I mean, you already know what I think about it. So. Yeah, I know. I know that we disagree on that one, but... Uh... It's like... Okay, so why do you think it's good? Let me ask you that question, actually. Because it's... I think in this slot for... For the price, it's... Uh, with the ten... After Rabadon, so it's like best uh, flat damage I can get. Plus the reveal is really, really helpful in, in Siege of So if you want to check some area. And you want to decide if you can follow up on the poke or not with, with the killer. Okay, so... There's two things I think about this, right? One is that, okay, the stats are fine. I'm not going to say the stats are bad. The stats are fine, mm -hmm. right? Um, the number one thing, like, is that I don't think this does anything because that's what you use Farsight for, right? Most of the time. Because so with your champion, you can face check with Q, right? So you don't need Farsight to face check. Um, I mean, yeah, no, but you only have, like, one blue trinket, and this thing is, like, when it hits, it gives you so much more info. Like, it, it's, I mean, it, it gives you more info, and it is, uh, it actually yeah. only triggers when it's valuable. Like, the blue trinket, you have, like, a 90% chance of, like, blue trinket something where it doesn't give you anything. Alright, so this turbo broke now 6, if it wasn't a bad item, then yeah. I mean, it's cheap, yeah, right? So it's like the stats are nice for the sheep, like cheapness in that sense. Like, I'm not gonna say that's not wrong or like that's not right, but for me, it's like there's a few other things I prefer. I think Crypt Bloom is better for like it's similar stats and it's almost as cheap and it just does more emo. And it's like mm, Cosmic Drive yeah. on six is not a good item, but on any other champion, you build, build Cosmic Drive instead. Yeah, no, I agree. And any other, yeah. other champion, Cosmic and Drive for sure. This game, I would just go Sonya. Uh... Uh, maybe, yeah. Because you're playing into, like, Camille, Kha'Zix, and what's the enemy support again? Bard. Like... I mean, I guess can work. Like, I would just go Sonya, because I think, like, you will deal damage anyways. Like, that's my thought process. Like, we saw it already, we deal damage anyways, and we just need, like, that, and then we can get the power spike on Seekers as well, instead of, like, just on the completed item. And right mm -hmm. now, the most important thing in the game is not, like... Which item do we get next? Because yeah, uh, can yeah. we agree when we're sitting on these two components? It's like we're, we're not spiking. Agreed? No. No. So, but if we get Seekers, it's a spike. Agreed? I mean, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because my thought process is, is that like there's so many fights happening over the last like five minutes to the point where it's like maybe if this is a comp play, maybe this is a correct play, right? Because the vision does more. Can we agree on that? If it's comp. Yeah. And, yeah, like, yeah, sure. it's more controlled, right, as well. So, like, it, this entire item is way better in complete than it is in solo queue. Yeah, I agree. I mean, for solo queue, yes. I can probably agree that it might not be the best item. Yes, and the other thing is that the most important thing in solo queue, when this is, like, the game is as chaotic as it is the last couple of minutes, is that we spike a lot, right? If we can get power spikes, we can win the game. Sonya's is an item that gives us a power spike earlier than other Yeah, items. I mean, I can just face check with, with Sonya's, not right. give a fuck, I guess. Right, it's like, yeah, we just gain more power, and it's like, when we get the Seekers, it's like, we feel stronger than when we have components from Cosmic. Or, like, from, uh, not Cosmic, mm -hmm. uh, Horace Fox. I mean, 
does the Sonya still get ability haste? Uh, no. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I will think about it. But yeah, no, I get your points. They make sense. Yeah. I mean, this is in general a bit awkward. I would probably walk the path that Kalissa is walking, so we don't have to use W like this. But yeah, that's a minor mm. thing. Thank God for that bard ult. Yeah, thank God for that bard ult. Smartest bard players back again. I'm too far away. Yeah. Right. Here, it's like, fine. Okay, we're a bit close, right? With W out, right? And I get if we're a bit scared when we W out. I get if we're scared while these guys are in Sonya because, like, if we walk up now, Camille will fucking one tap us and mm. we get no peel, right? So it's fine if we're like standing as far back as we are while they're in Sonya's. But now there's no reason to walk back anymore. Yeah, now I need to start walking forward again. Right, and um, maybe we thought the fight was completely lost, and that's why we're walking back. If so, it's a valid reason, right? The fight is obviously not lost. We can see it now, but yeah, it's a lot. Like you know, that could be like a thing yeah. we're thinking while we're in game. Yeah, no, I was a bit too slow, but yeah. Oh, you were out here. Nah, I didn't know the range is yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's like, okay, so here's how the Aurora ult works, right? You're in the circle, agreed? Yes. So, in a sense, you're not out. But until this has reached the edge, you can walk out. Ah, okay. So right now, you have the ability to walk out if you want to. And here you walk back in. And, yeah, and most likely what will happen here is that you will stand on the edge, the damage will hit you, and you will just walk out still because you're... Ah, uh, yeah, because I got pushed into tower as well. Yeah. yeah. I tried to knock the Camille as well, but she ulted. Yeah. Do we not end here? No. I guess we thought Wave was too far away. Maybe it's fine. And I mean, I assume we just end on the next fight, unless we yeah, fucking lose this fight somehow and Camille back to us and we're no, no. Omega depressed for the rest of the day. I mean, I, I really don't know why we're walking so far back. Like, we just decided that we wanted to do like an 8 around this tower, you know, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean... It's like, yeah, ah, oh, this tower looks circable, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's like once again, we're standing so yeah, far should, back. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. should just walk up to the towers, but uh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. standing so far back is fine as long as Camille still has see. Yeah, I mean, it can be all right, right? But we just, like, Camille is an interesting champion, right? Because Camille can, if she has an Orn Pillar here right now, she reaches us, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, it's so she can reach via Inhib, and then I have to keep... Uh, right, but then she has to like, run towards the Inhib, but, like, you know, and then she has, like, there's a lot of things, right? Because her E does not reach this way. She has Does to stand like okay. no, like her E, like um, it's ish about like a flash range, right? I, I thought it was like double. So twerk, so like so a... so why it looks so long maybe sometimes is because she can E here and walk back, and it will look like she's Eing from like here to here. Okay, maybe yeah. Can right, make because uh, like uh, her E range is shorter, especially if she's running towards the threat in that sense, and then like, mm -hmm. but like if she's not like standing in this circle, she cannot go on in right now. Okay, I mean and that's it, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So it's like, the, and if, we're, and... if that's what we're scared of, right, then we just walk up, you know, and then we play over here instead. And then it's like, if we're yeah, scared man. of the tower, we can just walk the other way. We we will see when she is right, so we shouldn't be that scared. Mm. I mean, I should just say tower and not give a fuck what's happening here. Yeah, that's another thing, right, but yeah. Like, Camille is like an interesting champion, because should we space her? Yeah, of course, otherwise she could one-tap us, but we, like, we space the terrain around her, not just her. Unless yeah. she has, like, flash or something. Alright. Anything else you want to... No, I think this is me? pretty much pretty good. Lot, we went a lot in detail about the, 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 the item shit. Yeah. And obviously my, my camera control. Yeah. Do you want to look next game, or...? Uh, we can a bit. Uh, I mean, I think it's gonna be even worse, because that was... I think this game was just after. Yeah. All right. Well, same thing... This lane as lost lane. I mean, the only thing is this lane, right, compared to the lost one, is that we do not have, like, prior. Agreed? 
Yeah, I mean, we should not have. I mean, yeah. in the end, I do end up getting it, but... Uh. Okay, I mean, no, it's good if we get it, like, I don't care about that, but it's like, uh, um, in general, like, what I would think about here is, like, once again, what is our, like, good reset compared to his reset? What is Good reset? I mean, he just wants every 350 gold he can reset. Like... Well, that's one thing, right? Because, like, our, our, ours is always the same on 6. We want Lost Chapter, and then we start playing. Agreed? Like, it's yeah. just the exact same thing every single game. If we can get the Lost Chapter, we beat every single champion in the game. Right? Agreed? Yeah, agreed. Yeah. So, that's always our goal. Right? And then it's like, what does he want? Right? So, 350 gold is, like, one thing, right? Because then he gets a Longsword, right? If we trade Longsword for Amp Tome, it's not that terrible. Agreed? Like... Because yeah, once it's again, a... it's like we're not gonna get a twelve hundred reset base versus Lucian. No, it's no. just not happening, right? So yeah, we're gonna thing. need a we're gonna need a reset on the way, right? Yes. So then the question is like once again, okay, what's that reset? Five fifty for all I care. This game is fine, right? Because the potions are a bit more important than the last one. Agreed. Because he yeah, can for sure. force a trade on us when he wants to, right? Whenever he wants. Yeah, for sure. So. I don't mind us going for a 550 reset here. I don't mind us going for a 400 reset here, but it could be a bit more risky because, yeah, it takes one good trade on us and then we can't really play. Um, yeah, these are like the main things, right? Um, and f does he benefit, would you say, from not taking one of these resets then? Like for 400, etc. or no? I mean, it's not too bad for him because he can just force another reset to run a gold later down the line. But preferably he would... Try to extend the lane phase so that he can uh, drain my mana pool. Right, he wants to drain your mana pool. If he, like, potentially, maybe he goes, like, Vamp Scepter if he really wants to. Like, fuck, you fuck you over in lane, for example. Uh, yeah, something if... like this, right? So that's, like, preferably he wants to extend the lane phase, right? Because he does not run out of damage in the lane, right? And if he can extend the lane phase, he can force out your TP, right? Because you cannot, like, keep laning without mana while he can. Agreed? Yes. And another thing is that he's probably playing Cookies, which is better for the initial lane phase compared to you who are playing Mana Flow, right? So he will run out of mana later than you will. Yes, in lane phase for sure. Yeah. And then later on it's fine, right? Like, I'm not saying you should run Cookies, don't, please don't. Um, no, but, but it's no, like, yeah. no, no, but, but, but like, you, you know what I mean. But it's like, uh, yeah. initial lane phase is better for him in that sense. What the fuck was this? What okay, this? we just threw away 20 mana for fun, bro. No, it's back. No, it's not. It's not like much, but it's 10 mana from away. You know what I mean? It was 478. No, no, no. It's, uh, I don't know. It's just like, I, I don't see the reason to do for a Q. Yeah. Like, Wave is arriving, you know? Like, it's yeah, also it's... like, uh, he's not in the lane to begin with, right? If he's actually in the lane to begin with and doesn't like chase here for some reason, yeah. you know? Like, then it's like, we're even lower mana. But it's not the biggest deal, but mana is just so important, right? Like, anytime you throw a Q like that, I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing, you know? I mean, I agree. I fully agree. Alright, this trade I really hate. There's a few things I hate about it. One is that we're trading into Lucian without tax. I get that we want a proc or passive, that's fine. It's a good fundamental thing on 6. Um, but we don't do it with Lucian. Not like this. Okay. I mean, right. I thought with bone plating I can just do it. Yes, you theoretically can, but anytime you, you bone plating is a cooldown like any other. Here you're using your bone plating to get an auto attack. Yeah. Right, and then you will hit your Q as well. So you get an auto Q for your bone plating, which means that level two, you will not have bone plating, and he can eat on top of us, and then he can get a good trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I agree. Um, the other thing is that we don't actually use our bone plating here. He procs it with Q, and now we walk back into him when we don't have bone plating. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> so our bone plating blocked exactly zero damage. Oh no. It's a disaster. Right. So it's like my point is that like if we want to do this, okay, first of all, commit for the trade, right? Like if like because otherwise you just proc our bone plating even if we traded out for Q here. Like and then we go back for the Q after because we wanna we wanted to try spaces out this right. So it makes sense some sort of. But yeah, I don't know. Either way, this is not worth it, and this is not worth it. I mean, yeah, the reason why I didn't insta Q at the start is because I expected him to study. And then right. my plan was uh, he autos and then dashes and then I throw Q. I see. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah. if you expected him to start E, then I think it's like almost worse in a sense that we trade our bone plating like that. Maybe. Because if he really wants to dare as well, like then he just like, you know, he out attacks once and then he waits out like your bone plating and then he is forward and then he gets a press attack as well. And it's like, you know. Mm. Alright, but either way. And uh, on top of all of this is that 
I get why we like want to trade with him in a sense. Like it's an urge to trade with him when he's not in lane, right? Because you can just zone him off the wave, etc. But here, just attack the wave. We got the prior here. He decided to give us the prior when he left the lane. Yeah. Uh... Can I do it versus Lush? Because I feel like... Oh, yes, you can. 100%, okay. bro. Okay. Because it's like, so I mean, unless he wants to burn everything on it. Like, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it's like, at least make him burn resources to get back the prior. You know what I mean? Because mm. if you decide here to not attack the wave like you are, and you trade with him, he will just go back, he will get the push, and then he will not have to invest anything into this push. Agreed? Yeah. But if you start hitting the wave, like, if he doesn't invest any abilities into it, agreed, you will just have the push. Yes, for sure. Right. And then we can control the recall. Yes. And then we can get our 400 recall or 550 recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. force the three wave crash, and unless he wants to like giga force it, or I mean, can he level down Thomiov? No, he can't. No, 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 he cannot do that, right? Like, and it's like, okay, can he invest all his abilities and maybe still get the push? Maybe. I don't know exactly yeah, how the matchup goes. To be it. honest, I haven't seen the six Lucian matchup in fucking forever. Right? <laughs> like, so I don't know. But either way, at least he's investing resources, right? And then uh, at that point, if we really want to, we could recall. save our resources and we invest it on the crash, and then we could get the push, and then we could still have like a 700 recall, for example. Which is not preferable, but it's like something at least, right? It's still fine. At least we're controlling it then, at least. And if we really want to extend the lane phase at that point, maybe we could even. And it's like now we like basically have the push either way, right? Which is nice. Here, I mean, I don't know. I, I get what we're scared of. We're scared of him just walking straight at us if we go to attack the minions, right? Mm. Uh, because we don't have Q yet. Um, we just space him, right? We have to understand what our timer is compared to his timer, right? Um, so here we attack a minion, we last hit it, right? Here we throw a Q at him. This is good. Agreed? Yes. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Here, why are we stepping back? Uh, um, bronze play? Right, because my point is just that, like, should we be scared of him trading back on us with his Q? Yes. yes. Can he trade on us with Q right now? No. Unless he uses Flash, then no. Right. But if he uses Flash, it's like whatever. Yeah, then whatever. We're playing a bronze game, so let's take it. You know, like, then we're probably winning anyways. But my point is that, like, he has to stand, like, ish the same range as the minions to hit us, right? Unless he's going to poke us through the minions, which hopefully we don't get hit by. Agreed? Yes. So... Generally here, like instead of clicking backwards after we throw this Q, we keep out attacking the minions unless we're really scared that we can't last hit the minions for whatever reason, right? Like when it does happen. But it's like, for example, this one, we could maybe burst on, you know? And even here right now, he's still not in range, agreed? He has to walk mm -hmm. up if he wants to. So we can circle around him. This click, I like it. You know what I mean? Because here we're doing the right thing in that sense, right? Um, but now we're just not attacking minions for serious. Yeah, 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 I should have hit mid, mid minion and then queued all of them at right. the same time. You, you were here, right, when we were watching like that show we clip from Lola Esports yes, or whatever, right? Yes, yes, and yes. one thing you probably noticed that they keep out attacking perma. Mm. Right, there was no point in the lane where they stopped out attacking for the push, right? Basically. Even while Shovi like walks forward and spaces to bait out abilities, he's still doing it. I'm not saying you should play like Shovi does. I'm not stupid, right? You're like, let's be honest. You I'm know, not, like, no, no one's gonna play like Shovi. That's just the truth, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter who you ask. No one's gonna do it. My point is just that, like, at least we can keep the push going here by just out attacking because now we kind of started giving it a bit back to him if he wants it. Yeah, no, I could have cleared all minions by now already, and then just kill melee. I was just, I think I was just glad that he wins uh, uh, level 1 versus level 2. But uh... Well, I don't think he does, right? Maybe if he has yeah. E, maybe there's an argument, right? But we can always just space him when he starts to queue like he did. Agreed? Mm. Yeah, no, I agree, fully. Like, this is just uh, bad for me. Now we just have an HP lead, and we still get the push, and that's good, but that's because he's a bad player. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this E is, once again, this is too early, I agree. Yeah, it's way too early. It's like, yeah. I mean, I guess we think, thinks the, we think the minion will die, which is like kind of fair, and then the minion swaps, which is well, it's a bit unlucky, but yeah. And this is just not it, right? Because now we throw our E, we throw our Q, and now we have nothing to zone him off with anymore. Yeah, yeah, why the fuck am I walking forward? So, I mean, you got coached by Cracky, and he speaks about ability rotations, right? That's one thing. You just keep on yeah, the yeah, abilities, yeah. right? One pokes... I the other is a defensive one. 
-hmm. And if we want to poke with our E for whatever reason here, right, we think, like, he has to walk through here, and otherwise the minions will lie, that's fair, right? But it's like, otherwise, save our E, you know, for example, if we want to throw this Q, you know? I don't really care what we do. But if we have one ability here, this trade is not as terrible for us, right? Because he's at least eating yeah, yeah. Comet then, and an ability. Yeah, if he eats one Q or one Comet there, it's like so much good, so much better. Yeah. Then he eats it anyways, but... Uh... Yeah, and uh, that's nice, of course. Like the thing, the like the thing is with champions like six is that people will eat abilities randomly, right? When we're playing yeah. this, I was saying we should throw these abilities permanently, right? But if we have a timer where we feel like okay, we don't need the queue for whatever reason, we have the push anyways. Let's say here, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't need the queue for the push, and we have our E as a defensive ability, and we can just throw it because he has no minions to attack anyways. I don't mind, like it's fine, you know. Yeah. Like this queue is fine, right? And then maybe he will not eat it, maybe he will eat it. I don't, I, I don't mind, you know, in that sense. I mean, this is a small thing, but I mean, I think the melee minion dies if you don't queue it there, like like the range creep, but it's whatever. You, you think it doesn't die? No, what I mean is like here, if you, what you do is just leave the range creep, because I think the range creep gets one more out of, and then you, just, you both lose a minion, but he loses a melee. Mm. It, but it's like, it's a small thing and maybe it doesn't even happen, so. Yeah, I see though. And now we agree this is our point where we want to reset after the wave. Yeah, new wave and base. Uh, right. I'm pretty sure I did not do it because there was a game where I wasn't focusing on that. Yeah, so and, that, and that's alright. What were you focusing on this game, can I ask? I was mostly trying to play more aggressive and play punish cooldowns more. Okay. Like, and try to punish on minion windows. Mm -hmm. Which like is kind of alright, but it was like the first game I did after this where I focused on that. Yeah. And I mean, my make recommendation is that you just focus on one or two things or whatever, like, you know, throughout a bunch yeah. of games and not, like, swap it around. Yeah, no, I was focusing You build the habit and you swap it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I swapped a bit too early, but it was, like, one, one thing I focused on for a long time. I should do it myself to W out there. But... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I just hate the play in general. Like, it's a LeBlanc conclusion. Like, we're fucking lucky we live here, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, I mean, I mean we don't Leeson live here, in... even. I mean, I thought Leeson would just insta W onto me, and then... Uh, oh, no, he might, but, uh, like... Because then I think LeBlanc is dead, and then I CC Delusion away, and then it's, like, so free. That's how I thought yeah, it would I play mean, out. I think there's a few things, right? One is that the LeBlanc is Mrs. or Shane, and then it's, like, there's, there's a bunch of things to it, right? Like, I just think it's, like, you're a half HP 6, and you're playing against LeBlanc, Lucian, and uh, I see you stepping up, yeah. and I feel like you're wanting to die. I mean, for me, this is like I want to bait them. I think this LeBlanc should be instead that. But, uh, maybe, but I think you trade one for one. Yeah, I mean, a lot of time. That's what I mean, maybe, yeah. But, yeah. but that's how I think it should have begun. But maybe it's like I'm expecting stuff that I should not be respect expecting. All right. Either way, we reset. We get the home yeah. refill, which is like fine. We have to TP back though, but it's alright. So he got two long swords. So generally, we can agree that we're a bit weaker on this reset, yeah. Yes, for sure. Um, now the good thing is that we got a kill on LeBlanc when we came back. Um, so we have a bit of gold, right? It's still the same thing. We want 800 gold, and then we want to reset, right? Yes, for sure. So for all I care, once again, if we want to, we just save resources until that, right? Because mm. now, if we can get this wave in, like we have the point where we want to be at, right? Agreed. Yeah. So for example, on yeah, go. Uh, I shouldn't use this much mana to deny him two casters, which is like useless comparatively yeah. to me getting Lost Chapter. Right, that's like one thing, and uh, like another thing here is that like if we don't want to, we don't have to hard shop this, for example. I mean, obviously it's a bit of an awkward wave state. That's not my point, but we don't have to like use abilities on it except for there, for example, to last it minions, right? Because mm. like we want to save our mana and our abilities for this, and yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously this is a bit awkward, like you say. Like now we like use a lot, and he can get the push, and it's like now we never have the tempo, and now we're stuck in lane. Yeah, 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 no, I fully agree. That, that, that's what I meant, did yeah. wrong there. And I mean, I realized I... after, but it was too late. So, sense. if I know you, you will probably just play this lane out, and like, and then you will ult the next wave here or something, but you don't have even a mana for that, so you didn't save the mana enough, right? But that's like a bailout if we need to, right? But it's like, my point is just that, like, we decide which wave we want to reset on. We agree we aren't killing him right now, agreed? 
<laughs> we're never killing him. Right, like, so we're not we're not killing him, and like we're not poking him out of lane, and he's stronger than us. So we just save our resources until we need them, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, was too nice, yes, but that's bad. Yeah, I agree. That's like one thing, right? I mean, it's like whatever, right? But it's like it's still playable, right? It's like, but when we mm. keep using, I mean, this what the fuck? Yeah. Was that? No, but either way, like, I mean, maybe it's just unlucky. I mean, whatever, right? It's like I don't care. But my point is just that, like, in general, if we're not taking a reset on, like, let's say this wave, right? If we don't think we can force it, then we don't use mana on this wave. Yeah, for sure. Right, and it's same so thing. Now we for sure can't. We agree. So we don't yeah. throw this queue. No, oh, for sure not. I mean, I could maybe try to foster reset on this wave, but I think yeah. it's a bad idea. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, well, then we threw the queue on the next one. Maybe we can do it, and we can, but, like, it's a kind of wave, but he will get the push for the next one. It's a bit awkward. I would rather just save our mana, and then after yeah, the yeah. cannon wave here, like, we Just hard shove, yeah, we hard shove, and if we need to ult it to get it in, we ult yeah. it. Yeah, that mana here, I could just ult the wave, and that's fine, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Well, I know you're a loss or a Dark Seal hater, but I would buy Dark Seal here. Uh, I think I should go armor. Maybe if you plan on going armor boots, sure. Because I, I don't think you need it, because this guy should not be able to interact with you that easily. You should be standing two screens away from him. I mean, I guess. Like, you're not gonna trade your passive auto for his passive auto, ever. Most likely not. I mean, here we kind of do it, but here he's also low HP, low mana, so, like, if yeah. you want to play for something here, I, I don't mind us doing it, right? But then also we play more aggressive here, agreed. Hmm... Because here, for example, okay, we use our E. Yeah. Okay, Q, auto, this is fine, right? And it's like, here, once again, we step up, right? And we don't use the Q for this. I feel like no, you I have... have... To, otherwise, I miss the cannon. No. I think so. Maybe not. No, you just auto attack the cannon. You're completely fine. I promise you. Just look at the creeps, right? Creeps right now, since he, because he auto attacks you here, are not focusing the cannon. There's one creep focusing the cannon. Yeah, I guess. And if you're really uncertain, sure, queue it. Like, it's fine. Right, but I, I, I know you don't need to queue it, right? Like, you can yeah, just yeah, yeah. check the, like, HP bar that is going down. What about you? No, but it's like, uh, so in general, then it's like, we can keep it stuck in lane here, and we just play aggressive, and we're chilling, right? And, I mean, something happens here. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah. And then I can try to keep him stuck in lane. Yeah. Bellencrest plays who today? Uh, they play Boosket. Oh, and the world froze. GG. F. I tried to do another can, I messed it up. Winnable? Maybe. Alright. No, and it's like, I mean, this lane phase right here is the same thing. We try to poke him out, and like... I yeah, hope, lose, lose I mean, one. let's see here. Um, I was gonna say, I hope we have some sort of CS lead of this. Because otherwise we've kind of trolled. I mean, we have a bit of CS lead, so it's like, alright, right? But that's like the main thing. He can stay as long as he wants to, but there's two things this does. One, he can never play aggressive on us, and yeah. we can always deny him a few CS, right? So that's mm -hmm. like what we play for. We play to like... Then it's like what you did earlier, like, for example, this W, right? Denying him some yeah. cost, which makes sense. Because if we do it every single wave, he's gonna start falling behind. The more often we can do that, that's fine. And we're not gonna, like, hard win the lane phase from this, but it does mean we get out of a lead, right? Yes. Which is basically us winning lane phase, because we're playing 6 against Lucian. <laughs> we have 6 against Lucian, yes. Right, and now we have Ludens, and I don't know what he has, because he's not back yet. Um, but he shouldn't be on first item if we were on first item, item I believe. Oh, wait, he went bot lane. What happened here? Oh, he TP'd bot lane, I see. Yeah, and then I planned on getting a lot of pressure here, but then Shivana's mid. Like, yeah, I mean, what it looks like she... is that we push here and then we want to hit tower. And yeah, yeah. now Shivana shows up, and I would have looked like what's going on near bot side, right? It's like the same thing yeah. with camera movement because, like, once again, like, if this is an enemy mid laner right now and you're poking him, it makes some sort of sense. The truth is, younglers do not give a shit about their HP bar because he will go hit the wolf camp for two <laughs> seconds and he will be full HP again. Yeah, no, for sure. So it's like. It doesn't really make sense to stand around a poker jungler. It's like we're farming damage stats for end of game to say we're good players. Uh, uh. 
That was so bad, W. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it now 20 million times looking, looking through these worlds, right? The W yeah. is not terrible. What is terrible about it is that we do nothing after we throw the W. We, like, W after we queued already, and then we, like, don't ult on it, or, like, you know... Anything. Yeah, 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 I need to start uh, comboing it a bit more. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the purpose of our W, right? So... Now we kill the Shivana here, and we're, like, chilling. Let's skip through this game a little bit. Because let's not go for too long, because then it's gonna be too much, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think there's already a lot. Yeah, this is... I wanna look at team fights real quick. I mean, it looks like scrappy skirmishes and not even team fights, so that's the awkward thing. Yeah, it is. What the fuck happened here? Right. Okay, that's what happened. It looks so weird, bro. I like when I found in, it just looks like you're walking into a sack meal range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, he, he giga jumped on me there. Mm -hmm. I mean, here we're low then... HP, so it's a bit awkward, but I yeah, think in I general, the habit, I assume, will remain that we're trying to space ourselves instead of the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's the same habit. Right. Because if you're enemy player, right? I mean, we can just look at it like this, right? If you're playing into a six, Right. And yeah. I don't care what you're playing. What other champions do you play? I mean, right now six. it's Right now it's mostly six, but do you play any other champion? Like if it's banned I or mean, something or no? I mean, if, if it's banned, I might sometimes play MF. Sometimes I play Velkos. Okay. No, but uh, MF is a good example. Let's say you're playing MF into six for whatever reason, right? Like, what range do you want to stand into that guy? Uh, between bounce one and bounce two. Right, so like generally, like you want to be in the range where it's like he cannot hit you with Q that easily, right? Quite long range, mm. right? Or enough, like close enough to the point where you can kill him, right? Yes. It's like in between these ranges. So anytime he stands max range to you and you 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 feel confident he cannot use his range against you, you're pretty happy. That's mm. just how you have to think, right? Because that's how it feels like you're doing, right? You're spacing for the enemy. Makes sense. Because you always walk so far back, it just feels like enemy doesn't have to be scared of your range at all. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. Here, like, once again, right? Because it's like, we walk to mid lane here, right now it's fine, right? We throw our ult, and now we're clicking to the side for some reason, right? We yeah, still have nice. nothing to be scared of. We're literally a screen away from the enemy. They don't even <laughs> see us, and we're scared. <laughs> I mean, it looks so grief. I mean, yeah, this and grief. this this is good, right? Because now we like we grow some balls, and we throw a Q and the passive, and then it goes away insta. Like, the tower dies, and we want to click back again. We're like, what are we scared of? Look at the enemy HP bars, right? Yeah, I mean, Pay I should just knock the sack into me and like not give a fuck. Right, because what happens here is, I mean, and maybe we're not aware of it, right? But, like, Zack is, like, 1 HP. The team will manage to nuke entire enemy team somehow. Like, I don't know, <laughs> this guy's just a goat. Like, yeah, this guy's really good. Right, but my point is just that, like, we're yeah, now I mean, far no, away yeah. to punish enemy, right? Yeah, and worst case, right, worst case, what should happen here is that we throw our abilities. We're standing where the team is standing-ish, right? On, like, on the same line, at least. And yeah, if we feel like... Yeah, and but, but my point is just, if we feel like the fight is starting to be losing, we use this W, not like this, we use that. And we're mm -hmm. chilling, right? And if we feel like we need yep. to knock away someone, that's fine as well. But if we feel yeah, like, yeah, no. okay, we're stronger than them right now, we can keep chasing, maybe we can use the W aggressively, and knock this guy into our team, and we get a kill. Mm. Right. Alright. Anything else you think you want to look at in this game, or no? No, I think if this is, like, it's fine. No. It is good for this, because this game, yeah, as I said, is not as high quality since it was, like, Kind of immediately after the coaching, so I didn't have that much time to. No, and that's all right. And it's like, uh, as I said, right? Like with both these lane phases, when we like come into game, ask ourselves. I mean, if we're playing six, it's almost always going to be lost chapter, and the yes. base before that is almost always going to be four hundred or five hundred fifty gold. Agreed. So, like those are the two states we want to control. Maybe there's going to be some champions that are stronger than us on for like you know on what's called the. Uh, um, 450 or like a 400 550 gold right if we looked at this lane phase again right 
our 750 recall was actually fine, right? Because here we could have gone Sapphire Crystal if we wanted to, and we could have controlled the lane phase from that. Agreed? Yes, yes. Um, it was but, just a bad thought process. Yeah, but these are general things we want to think about, and anytime we can get the prior on this champion, right, unless we're scared of whatever enemy Younger is about to do to us, right? Um, but both games, both of these games, we shouldn't be that scared. Agreed? It's Shivana and yeah. the, it's a yeah. uh, Cal game. Right? So the push uh, gives us control over the lane. Right? Yeah. And using this push, we can get good recalls, we can get to a lost chapter with an advantage, and we can win. Agreed? That's yes. like the entire lane phase for me with playing this champion, right? You're doing a decent job of like poking people, etc., and doing like, you know, some of these, like sometimes we waste our abilities, right? But it's like fine in general, right? Yeah. But so yeah. we can do a bit better of a good job to make sure that we buy this, like, get these general, like, decent traits, taking like better bases, right? That gives us better advantages yeah, coming into the next lead more. Right. Because it's like, if we load in level one versus level one, right? Like, you know, outside of the actual matchup, neither side has an advantage. You know what I mean? But if we have a slight advantage level one playing six into Aurora, let's say, which I think you can agree we have because we just outrange her and she can't trade on us, yeah. agreed? Right? Yeah, yeah. Then we should be able to, on the next reset, right? Let's say we're both like level four or something, right? We should be slightly stronger. Yes. But if we Given have not the used... HP is high enough. Right, but if we have not used our level 1 correctly, she's going to be as strong as us. Yes. Right, so even though we might be winning from level 1 till 4, if we both reset after that, we might be equally strong. Mm. Right. And then I'm stronger again on last chapter, she's stronger on 6 and... Etc, etc, right. So it's like, it's, because everyone has win like winning points in matchups, right? Every matchup has a winning point, right? Agreed? Like, almost every matchup at least. Um. So it's like, and if hers, it's like, okay, she's stronger than us on level 6, like... Uh, well, if I can fucking write correctly. Uh, if she's stronger on us <laughs> on level 6, we have to win before 6, right? If we cannot yeah. win before 6, she's going to be stronger overall. So if we're stronger level 1 till 5, you know, and we do not come into level 6 with a lead, theoretically, after level 6, like, you know, on our lost chapter, when we get to that, which, like, you know, then we should be behind. Agreed? Yes. Just if she abuses this point correctly, when we don't abuse this correctly, we don't get a lead. And we don't get even. Hmm. So that's the entire lane phase. And then, like, later on in the game, your W usage needs to fucking be improved. It's, like, one thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah It's, like, sure. a little bit better in lane phase, right? Because last time we looked at you trying to poke Trisana with W. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AKA you wanted to die. Um, exactly. In game. <laughs> uh, and it's, like, this time, it's, like, a bit better, but we're still using it a bit wrong in team fights. I don't... F I'm not saying we use it wrong in terms of, like, when we look to use it aggressively or defensively. I'm saying we use it wrong in terms of how we use it with other abilities, right? We just kind of use it as a separate ability, which we should not, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I should need, need to combine it more with my Q ult. Right. Like and most of the Q, sometimes ult, and yeah. Yeah, and I mean, this game, I didn't look that much on camera movement. This game, like, the camera movement wasn't as important until later on in the game where it felt a bit poor still, right? Agreed? Mm -hmm. Um. So that's I like one thing. It was better, but yeah, it's still really poor. Yeah, and then it's like, I mean, it was a bit better. Like, it was a bit better. I'm not going to say that. But it's like, yeah. Uh, and then it's like, generally, you saw your space towards the enemy. I think the main two things is like, one, the laning phase in terms of your recalls compared to enemy recalls, super important. And two is, you know, you how you space people, right? Because mm -hmm. it feels like you're spacing in terms of your max range on the champion, which is what enemy wants. Because if they can stand yeah. slightly outside of your max range, you cannot do anything to them, right? And you cannot abuse your range. And then you have yeah, to walk I mean, into them, and then they can walk into you at the same time, and then they win. No, I agree. Whenever I play range matchup, that is uh, not uh, not one I know. I mean, no, I mean, unless I play this episode, uh, yeah. I will always space poorly. I think melee matchups are played quite decently. Yeah. But uh, ranged, I think I'm uh, yeah. I'm spacing myself. I agree. That's exactly yeah. what you said. Yeah, and it's like I don't know, like because like and the idea in top lane, right? If you play melee versus range, right, is that you want to stand right outside of the range champion's range, right? So if you're a melee here and it's like range champion here, and then as soon as they walk into you, you walk into them, and then you would like all of a sudden close the gap. You see what I mean? Mm. And that's how you win, like playing melee versus range, or general playing less range than enemy, higher range, right? You're always higher range than enemy unless you play against a Velkos or a Seraph, because there's only other two other artillery mages in the game. I agree. Maybe Seraphine yeah, I mean, as well, something like that. Yeah, I don't think Seraphine is, but Kogmo could be. But yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe AP Kogmo, right? But it's like, if they don't don't play Artillery Mage, you're going to outrange them, agreed? Yes. So, right. so in yeah. general, it's like, you know, what they want to do is make sure they stand outside of that range until they can 
come into you, like, because if there's, like, perma standing inside of your range, like, you, you can, like, walk backwards and just win trades, right? You know what I mean? So they don't want to mm -hmm. stand inside of your range ever until they want to trade, right? Yes, exactly. So they you really want, you want walk... them to be in your range, not outside your range. Yeah, exactly. I need to, like, make the, 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 the half circle a bit closer and, to, like, overlap with them. Yes. No, but that's the two main things. The spacing and, like, the like uh, recalls the lane phase. And then it's, like, also camera movement, as I said, right? And it's, like, uh, you know, some general things, right? Like, but these are the two main things, Emo, that I will mm -hmm. focus on. Yes. All right. So then. space enemy range, make yeah. the item and lane plan, and W usage is the next yeah. thing I should focus yes. on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And that's mainly six specific, right? So. Yeah. But, yeah. And then I, I don't have anything else right now. If you have any questions, go for it. Uh, right now it's good. I don't have any questions. I mean, I will just set you up if I have questions, but... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, then All I right. will see you, man. See ya, and good luck with your stream. Yeah, good luck, you too.